Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We are back with another amazing island tour. I am so excited today because we are getting to tour the island of Wildwood. And what makes me excited about it is it's like all of my favorite things combined into one thing. You have coastal, you have farming, you have rural, you have forested areas. It's kind of a little bit of everything and I am so excited to get into it. So let's not wait, let's go ahead, take a look at this map. As you can tell, there are some pretty major waterways <laughs> right through the main part of the island. It looks pretty customized in the back. It looks like a lot of path work has been done. There is some terraforming. I see two main houses. It doesn't look like there is a set residential area. It looks like they're kind of put in and throughout the island as a whole. Because again, this is like a seaside, coastal, farming community. It's not so much a city area. What not. All right, for villagers, we have Shep, there's Lolly, Teddy, oh, Eric, there's Molly, Grizzly, Fauna, Hazel, there's Pate, and Anchovy. And of course, the dream address is at the bottom. So come along and tour with me. It'll be fun. If not, save it for another time. Of course, it'll be in the description along with all of the creator's information. Head over to Instagram, check them out. Super, super talented. With that being said, let's head in to Wildwood. Coming out of the airport, and it's just like that perfect time of day. It's a little bit hazy, it's a little bit sunny, it's a little, the clouds are moving. And then you're greeted with beautiful customs already. You have this groundwork here that is just phenomenal. I love the gravel paths and then you've got tons and tons of gifts here, which is great because I don't have to open them. We can just see what is here. We have everyday socks, we have a checkered jumper dress, we have moccasins, tulip hat, Denim overall, they were like, we were feeling the same vibe today. A straw pochette, green balloon, we know I like balloons, flower petal basket, orange mint cone, a handheld pennant, the lantern, pocketbook. I think we need to put on this. Adorable, and do we need to hold the balloon? I feel like we do because I carry a balloon anytime I see one in any video. So, all right, I think we're all set. We were on the same page. Let's let's go to the right, and then we will work our way around the island. Already, we have villager houses, and they are not home, which is upsetting because it looks like this one is a bakery. But how cute is it with the little pie in the stand out front? Walking along this gravel path is so cute, and the customs. Oh, and books! Books and newspaper, they are also not home, which is just so upsetting, because I want to go inside these villager houses, but I love the rural setting, I love the trees, the customs are beautiful. And the beaches are just beaches, they are not meant to be explored, so we are going to leave the beaches alone and head into the rest of the island. Oh, look at the little duck pond. How cute is this? Then you have the little path leading back on to this beautiful path. I'm loving this gravel road. It's so pretty. And then you've got parking with the little gazebo. Oh, this is right by resident services. You have the houses in the back, but I love the path work. And this, like, this is just so pretty. So natural. I love the ducks everywhere. Pumpkins. And we do have a villager house. And it does look like their home. I see a cornucopia. I see a lot of pumpkins and stuff. So I'm excited to see what they have done inside. Let's go inside and check it out. It's Hazel's house. Oh, the phone's ringing. That's kind of adorable. I love the little fire going inside it's just cozy and cute you've got the little customized pillow with basket at the end i love that the phone is ringing very simple with some hanging flowers just a very rustic country home which i think is very fitting for this island hazel your house is oh the, look at the tin can on the ground i didn't even notice that that's so 
adorably cute. Like, it just kind of missed the garbage can. This is cute, though. Back outside. And I don't know whether... Oh, that's as far as I can go. I was going to say, should I keep going to one side or go to the other? But look at how cute this is. I love rural islands. I love farm islands. I love rustic. I mean, this is all of my favorite things in one. But let's follow this path through the tunnel. And we come to more houses. This looks like this is one of the main houses. And I love the white pumpkin field in front. Like, how pretty is that? That's actually beautiful. You've got the pumpkins everywhere. The house is like the perfect color. You've got the mushrooms, the table. I don't know. This is just so cute. It's like a simple cottage from a fairy tale. I don't know. I love it. But let's go inside and see what they've done. It is a very simple country home. I love... I kind of love the clutter. There's an open bag of cookies on the counter. There's papers all over the floor. It looks like somebody's been writing with the typewriter. You've got the old timey TV, the lanterns, the plants. I don't know. It just looks lived in and loved. Let's see the other rooms. Wow, you go from this very rustic, lived-in, loved living room to, like, this gorgeous bathroom. Look, I love the way that they did those two sinks kind of facing in towards one another. Oh, I love that. With the little box in between with the basket and you've got the bathtub. This is adorable. Very pretty bathroom. upstairs oh the phone is ringing here too <laughs> this is such a quaint little room I love the socks on the floor I love the old furniture I again I know that this wallpaper it's supposed to be like ruined it's old it's kind of stained but I love the kind of vintage quality that it brings to a house I'm I just I don't know I like it I don't know if I'd want it in my house but for creating a room, especially in an old farmhouse, I love this. So pretty. Just a beautiful room. Okay. But the, um... Yeah, the downstairs is very... Unexpected. Was not... Not expecting a circle lit up with candles and the candle wall and a lot of the astrological maps. And yeah, there's cauldrons in the back. I was literally expecting to come down because I'm getting that old farmhouse feeling. And I was thinking I'm going to come down and it's going to be like a root cellar or a storage cellar. And they're going to have all sorts of bins. I was... Oh, look at the gyroids on the wall. I was wrong. <laughs> it is um, not at all what I was expecting. I do love this floor, though, and I love the way it lights up. I love the cauldrons. It's cute. Back on the outside of this adorable little farmhouse unexpected farmhouse if you will i'm gonna head over to the side we did see this earlier when we were coming by on the other side of this is some of the villager houses we saw the duck ponds oh we have one of the residents let's say hello i love books i love books too i actually have seen a custom for books in about four different areas so far so i'm wondering if that has anything to do with anything I feel like we're in like the kind of more rugged foresty area of um, the island because, oh, it's telling us to come down here. There's Grizzly and check out the beaches. The beaches, 
this one's again very simple there's just some barrels some paint they're working on things let's go back up to the houses like i said this is feeling very much so like the wooded area of the island we've seen some of the rustic area some of the farming area and this feels more woodsy but we do have a villager home and literally a villager home that is home so let's go inside and see what they've done I love a log cabin that is kept as a log cabin inside. I love the log cabin wall. They've got the wood stockpiled for the season in behind the fireplace. You've got some plant life back there. I love the stickers because it almost looks like you've got plants or moss growing in and amongst the wood. Very simple furniture, very cute. I love the little Christmas candle, holiday candle set on the table. Adorable little cottage. I did see a little viewing area over here, so I want to check that out. I love coastal islands, and I love the boat in and amongst all the leaves. I love the customs. I'm loving a lot of love today. I, the customs, though, are phenomenal. This wood plank that they're using is beautiful, along with the really natural, realistic path. I love that there's a rope on the ground. Another viewing area where you can see the trees and the lighthouse. Like, it's just, that's so pretty to me. I love the addition of, I'm not even going to try and say the name of the trees. I think I need to go online to one of those phonetic websites that tell you how to say things because I know I'm saying it wrong, but we all know what I mean when I say I love those big giant trees in the back. Awesome addition to the islands. They look phenomenal. We have a ramp going down and we've come to the coastal area and this is what we saw on the map that was all customized look at this water everywhere and the sand and the boats the ducks this is beautiful oh my goodness i love this i love 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 a good custom and this is absolutely gorgeous and it fits in the entire theme you've got the wagon over here you've got fishing it's coastal but it's still rustic and a little bit farmy you've got the windmills in the back like how gorgeous is this i love the rope everywhere this is absolutely beautiful i love it the water even looks like it's moving it looks like it has waves it actually looks almost identical to the waves and water that are actually brushing up on the beaches that are surrounding the islands. That is so beautiful to me. Oh, I love this. Literally gorgeous. That right there is like the entire theme of the island right here. We've got coastal, we've got country, we've got forested. This is gorgeous, but they have a villager house here and they are home living right on the beach. I love it. Let's see what they've done inside. Oh, I love the window. And there's that books symbol again. See, I've seen that like five times now. Books. There's something to do with books somewhere here. But I love window customs. And this is just adorable. And I'm loving that it's giving that backdrop of the water and the beach. Because that's exactly where this house is located. It's down on the coastal part of the island. You've got all the waterways, the boats, the beaches. The ocean, I love that that's reflected in the back of the house. That is so pretty. There's vines up there as well. Just beautiful. Oh, there's cobwebs everywhere. I didn't notice that until we went up high. Such a cute house, though. Love the window. Love the follow through. I'm intrigued by all of this book information. back outside i'm just i'm sorry i'm going over one more time because i'm just in awe of beautiful customs and there's something just so serene about this area like how beautiful is that 
gorgeous customs. So pretty. And look at how much waterway there is. Oh, look, they've even got a little dock area where they're working on the other boats. There's paint cans, garbage bags. I love this. The boat's in the water. This whole area is just ridiculously beautiful. I can't with how pretty it is. Got the benches set up so you can set. Oh, and this is where the secret beach is located. And they've got a little daisy in a cup. The shoes. The little pillow to sit on in the customs on the beach. The customs on this island are absolutely stunning. I can't get over how gorgeous it is. Oh, look at this little beachfront. I want to call it like a little shop, maybe a little restaurant maybe a beach house somebody lives here and this is just their outdoor picnic table and this is where nook's cranny is hiding down on the beach and they've got a little picnic area set up in front and again more of this amazing water customs like this wow it's just beautiful so pretty Literally so pretty. I love the layering here. You've got, I know it's not a gazebo, but I'm calling it a gazebo in the back. And then you've got the storefront. You've got simple panels. You've got the boat. I don't even, wheel? Boat wheel? That's what it is. Sometimes words elude me. Boat wheel in the front is just so pretty. All right, one more around because... I love a good coastal area, and this is done so well. Oh, it's beautiful. Just gorgeous. I highly suggest you come visit the island, spend some time, walk around, because this is... Jo oh, I didn't even see the ants walking. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to scare you. And then you can go up the ramp, and you are back in and amongst... This natural area, there's mushrooms, there's villagers, there's trees. It's less coastal. Oh, another. Oh, I'm playing with my balloon. I just want to say hi. Are we out of the woods yet? Oh, we're kind of in and amongst them right now. And up, oh, this is where the museum is. And strangely enough, this big museum tucked in the woods with all the alabaster stone is working. Sometimes I would say, you know, take the hit, keep it small, keep it in a tent. But I don't know. There's something that's just working with the trees and the colors and the custom. Oh, and then there's a little graveyard in and behind. But again, beautiful views. I love the mossy rocks. I love the mush items. So pretty. Can I go this way? You can come and have a little private picnic. <gasps> and look at the water from here. That's so pretty. I wonder if you can go into camera mode. Just get a little hot. Look at... That's so beautiful. What an amazing job. It's so pretty. I don't want to push our island owner. So we're going to move down this way. And go... Oh, this brings us... I'm just following paths before I go up, down, and around because we all know that I tend to get a little ahead of myself. But look at how beautiful. That's gorgeous. Right there. That is everything. It's rustic. It's trees. It's coastal. Oh, every view I'm finding, I'm just falling more and more in love with. The customs are gorgeous. The views are gorgeous. The pathwork is gorgeous. Again, the talent that some people have is just insane. We have another little rustic farmhouse. I love the, the color schemes all over this island. They're very muted. They're not big, bright, reds, bolds. They're very earth tone, and it's so pretty. This is beautiful. Oh, were we down here? We were down here before. It's where we walked through the path, and this is the big wheat field in front of another one of the little rustic house builds that are put in here. So beautiful. This is... 
absolute look at the path work here this farm just keeps going i thought it was just this little area but it's absolutely beautiful and the fields are all broken up by this big path going throughout like just stunning let's go this way we are not books we are back to where kind of the main part of the island is in Able Sister. Oh, this is the other side of Resident Services. There's another little main house there. And then Able Sisters down here in the corner. We're back on this gravel path. So we're kind of in like that little township area. I don't know how to say it, but where the gravel road is and books. So books is a thing. Let's head inside and see what they've done. It's like a very old library and not overly used. There's cobwebs everywhere, but I mean, is it really a good book if it's not covered in cobwebs? You can walk around. You've got the little, oh, I love the little desks that are kind of tucked in, in at the back. How adorable. You've got the old style radiators. The banker's lamps, the fireplace. So cute. And then in the back, you've got... Look at the cobwebs everywhere and the lights. This is... um. This is giving off very Victorian feelings, and I love it. I love the old typewriter, the globe, all of the books everywhere, the furniture, the candle that's lit up, the tulip lights. I love the desks with the feather pens in them. This is cute. This is a very, very old, I don't know if it's a library, if it's a bookstore, but I love it. All right, back outside, books making more sense. We have Able Sisters. This is where we came in. Very, very simple with the spinning wheel, the bags. I love, again, the wood planks leading up. And then you've got this broken stone all over the ground. And then, of course, the gravel path. We're just following the gravel path. We have villager homes tucked in and amongst and again you've got that woodsy feeling while still being very firm town very rustic very pretty i love the neutral tones across the bridge look at this oh you've got like the carrots planted you've got this little pear orchard i love the custom of like the tractor lines going in between all of the trees. It's so pretty. And then you can go up. Oh, look at this view. Oh, that's beautiful down there. I can't wait to go down there. But look at all the bridge work and these little areas to sit and relax and take in these waterfalls and the vines. Like this is gorgeous absolutely stunning views on this island we were over there already so let's go this way because we've discovered a whole other area so let's go back down around through can i get through the orchard or is there i can't get through the trees what's in between the tree oh because they've got the the party light arches i'm like why can't i get through more villager houses before we go back. I see one right directly on the beach. And do you see what I mean about the custom really mimicking those natural waves that are surrounding the island coming up on the beaches? It's just so pretty. But this villager's home. So let's go inside and check it out. It's Fauna's house and look at how pretty I don't know, there's something about the wood panel walls and then you've kind of got this old broken down wall, but it's very delicate is the word I want to use. I don't know if it's the lace, the white, the furniture, the way it's laid out. It's very pretty and delicate, just like her 
right on the beach. Very beautiful. All right, we're back outside. Back on this amazing gravel path. I love this gravel path. I feel like I need this custom. I need to use it. And we're back outside and there's so many ways to go, but I want to go this way because it looks like a lavender farm. And like, how beautiful. I can't with how gorgeous this island is. Look at the path work, the plants. Look at the little gardening area just in the backyard. It's so pretty. Then you've got all the path work leading over here. You've got little beehives and honey helping to pollinate all the lavender. This villager's home, but I want to see where is this coming from? Were we up here? We were up here. That's where the museum is. I love how there are multiple paths leading all around. Like the accessibility of this island is phenomenal. The bridges are beautiful, but it's so easy to get around and see all the different areas and they all seamlessly flow into one another. It's just gorgeous. But this villager house is, or villager is home. <laughs> Let's go inside and check it out. It's Lolly's house, and you've got these cute little hats hanging up. She's got her laundry hanging in the back. Her little bed with her book that she probably got from the old library laying on her bed. Her sewing machine. Like, this is so rustic cabin by the woods. So cute. Love the furniture. Love the big lace carpet. So pretty. back out into this gorgeous field like look at this so pretty every view on this island is gorgeous i see the campsite over there i was gonna say there has to be something we're missing and that would be it but that would be i'm assuming this bridge yes going past grizzly into the camping area one of the few parts of the island where the beach is kind of decorated i see there are blankets, there are towels, there's just stuff set out to picnic and relax. You've got the big campfire over here, amazing customs. I love the actual campsite with the fence. You've got the table set up for lunch. You've got the laundry hanging all up because it's obviously, if you've ever gone camping, you know, you know, your clothes do not stay dry. I don't care how well you pack them, they are going to get wet. So I love that they have all the clothes hanging up and then they have their own little like private beach area and this is where we ended up at nook's cranny before back in this gorgeous coastal part of the island it's just so beautiful wildwood is their shop just stunningly gorgeous i 100 percent recommend you come take a visit walk around Take in the customs, the different areas. They've done such a phenomenal job. The houses are beautiful. Again, credits to the creator. They've done an amazing job. I am, however, going to go ahead and end my tour here. I want to thank you guys so, so much for coming along and touring with me. If you had as much fun as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It means absolutely everything to me. And you know I'm definitely going to be back with more Animal Crossing videos.